Hello, thank you so much for joining us for the experience video for our Human Rights and Human Diversity Professionalization Seminar. Um, I'm here today with two of our students along with one of our faculty members um, who are going to talk a little bit about the experience that this really unique course offers. Um, so before we get into some question and answer, let's start with introduction. Hi everyone, um, my name is Emily. I'm a third year student here at Human Rights um, for the Human Rights and Human Diversity Program at Wilfrid Laurier, and I'm currently taking the HR 300 Professionalism Seminar. Hi, I'm Sachin. I'm also a third year student at Laurier. I'm doing a double major in Human Rights and Human Diversity and Law and Society. And I'm Dr. Stacy Wilson Forsberg. I'm an associate professor in the Human Rights Human Diversity Program. Well, thank you so much for taking time um, out of your busy schedule to join us today. I know the experience that you're going to share will be so valuable for students who are really considering this program. Um, Stacey, I'm wondering if you could begin by telling us what this course is about and really what makes it special. Okay, uh, the HR 300 professionalization seminar is it's a seminar it's a, a small class with only uh, third year human rights human diversity students although sometimes fourth year students will will come in as well if they missed it in their third year and the course uh is uh it's quite special it uh, focuses on skills as opposed to content so the idea is to give students, to help students acquire um, some of the skills and, and uh, attributes that they need to uh, continue on after they graduate from the program, whether they join the, the labor force or go on to graduate studies or some postgraduate uh, professional program. That's great. And now, um, Emily and Sachin, what I'm wondering is if you could tell me about how this course differs from some of the other courses that you've taken as students in human rights and human diversity. Definitely. Um, I've really enjoyed so far, and I think it's very different, the class size. And I think specifically with the human rights program, that's something that's really um, valuable is being able to work one on one with other students, work one on one with your professor. Um, and definitely the skills aspect prepares you for actually finding a career later rather than trying to apply all this um, content that you've learned in other classes to a job. This really sets you off on the right foot for sure. Yeah, like Emily said, uh, the, what's different about this class is that it allows students to interact with the professor and create relationships with other students uh, that are going to be useful either in the sense that um, when applying to law schools or graduates school that you need references or some sort of letter from professors and students can help with each other along. That's great. Um, so how do you think it has been helpful for you as students? I've definitely been able to learn a lot of practical skills, including um, presentation skills, um, interview skills, working on resumes and cover letters in class. But there's also a very genuine feel about the class. We genuinely talk about things that are, you know, um, difficult for students our age, have trends that are happening in the employment um, world right now. We often talk about um, kind of how career paths aren't always linear and sometimes they are and um, that's really been able to foster a good learning environment because now it's taken a lot of pressure off I think some people's shoulders for sure. Yeah this class has actually taught me a lot of good skills and abilities that are going to be useful in the workplace and um, in other classes such as learning how to work with others in a group setting and working on group projects by creating a team plan or a charter where you set out all the rules and divide the work up e evenly to make sure that the work is getting done on time. It sounds like it's a very practical course that you really can take a lot of, a lot out of and apply as you move forward, which I think is, is really great to have the opportunity to participate in that, absolutely. Um, so, 
I'm wondering for you, Stacey, what has been the most rewarding um, element of teaching this course so far? But by far, it has been just getting to know the students. Um, I do teach uh, mostly third year in the Human Rights, Human Diversity program, but our, our, our program is quite small. So our bigger classes mix students from different programs, which is fantastic as well. But in this program, it's just the human rights students and it's a small cohort. cohort. So at the moment we have 29 students in the class. So it's been a lot of fun just getting to know them. Um, right. and, um, and the other, um, I think the other thing that makes the course special, it's really, it's my only, it's my first time teaching this course. Um, it was kind of a last minute decision to, to switch with, with my colleague, Dr. Robinson. And um, another special thing was watching the students' reaction when they find out that most careers are not linear, that we all fall flat on our faces and we all have to get up again. And uh, whether it's me talking about my own career or colleagues and guest speakers coming in to talk about theirs or through informational interviews, uh, which students have just done, where they had to basically call cold call uh, somebody in a career that they were looking uh, looking at and find out that, wow, you know, a lot of people took second chances. A lot of people didn't do well in university at all, or they changed their mind, or they thought they were doing one thing and ended up in doing another thing. And that's probably the majority of the cases. And I think the students are quite surprised to hear that. So that, that's that been a lot of fun to, 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 to kind of see their reactions to that. Yeah, I think it's, it's a very beneficial conversation to have when you're working towards completing your undergraduate degree to have that awareness that it's not always going to be this straight path that you're going to go down to get to, you know, to achieve your goals and all the different goals and career choices you'll have along the way. Um, I love that that's part of this course. I think that's awesome. Um, so for you two, I'm wondering, what has been the absolute most memorable aspect, like a big takeaway for you from taking taking this course? Um, it's definitely been the amazing guest speakers for sure, number one. Uh, we've been able to meet with people from Laurier, people um, outside of Laurier that are now part of our network who have really kind of fostered some of the things we're talking talking about in class, given us firsthand experience, um, talking about experiences of their own that kind of can lead us in the right direction, but also um, just how welcoming the whole class is. All the students are really great to work with and we're all really there to learn and do well and learn from each other. And that really fosters such a great learning environment for the rest of us. So it's been really rewarding in that aspect. For me, I have been really enjoying the human rights monitor monitoring assignment because I've made some really good friends in this class and that, and I know that we're all trying to work together to figure out how, uh, what our futures are going to look like and what we're going to do, whether we're going to go to law school or are we going to go straight into the work field or are we going to go to a graduate program. So I've just been really enjoying working with all the students and hearing their stories and what their plans are for the future. That's great. And I do have a follow up question for you, Emily. You mentioned that you've had, and for you it's all fashion, um, you mentioned that you've had guest speakers. Is there anybody specifically, um, and you, if you don't remember their full name, that's okay, but I'm just wondering if there's anybody specific that really stuck out that inspired you or motivated you as well. Uh, we had the privilege to talk with Dr. Massacre, who's actually a colleague here at uh, Laurier, and he's really great. Not only is he engaging, he's um, fun to listen to, but he also brings a different side to the human rights aspect um, about a more economical and um, international development aspect to the learning process that's not just about theory, but also about practical application of our content that we're learning. Uh, one of the guest pre speakers that I really enjoyed was, I think, uh, Norbina. If I'm right. Yeah, Norbina uh, Stacy worked under her, and I really enjoyed how she changed her career path and how she taught uh, Dr. Wilson Forsberg uh, the different skills to work in public, the public sector, and work with public policy. Um, do you feel like hearing all of these guest speakers has helped open you up to thinking of different you know, opportunities that you may have than 
when you started in the program? Definitely, it reminds me of the many options that we can have um, back to that linear piece piece that any experience that you get anywhere um, is going to be valuable in the end because it's teaching you those um, professional skills for later jobs and seeing so many sectors, seeing so much experience in these different areas um, really helps put a career in human rights and human diversity into perspective um, that it's not just one thing, it can be many things and you can use your de degree for many things. Yeah, for sure. I feel like there there doesn't need to be like a set plan of what you're going to do once you're done your undergrad. Like before I wanted to go to law school, but I'm thinking I might just want to go into the workforce for a couple of years and see and put myself out there, see what I'm capable of doing. And Stacey, for you to hear everything that these students are saying right now, like that must make you so proud as a professor, I imagine. <laughs> no, I'm proud of the students. <laughs> <laughs> I loved uh, I loved that Sachin mentioned uh, one of our guest speakers. Uh, uh, we were talking about networking and mentoring. I thought, well, what better way to talk about mentoring than bring in my mentor? <laughs> so I did, <laughs> and uh, and it turned out quite well. She's uh, she's retired now, and it was she really had some great information to to impart on the on the students. Uh, no, it's been it's been a great experience. Um, um, the other favorite part was seeing uh, seeing the students use social media, um, LinkedIn, for example, uh, when they had to do those informational interviews. And and I asked them, "How did you find that person?" Oh, I found them on LinkedIn, and I hunted them down, and I and I got a hold of them, and how they're using the social media to their advantage. And it's just been I love to just stand back and watch. It's been fantastic. That's so cool. You have to get creative sometimes when you're trying to, you know, to connect with people. That's what it's about. <laughs> um, so, so, well, again, thank you so much for sharing your insights. And I'm sorry I sort of bombarded you with some extra questions at the end there. Um, so I appreciate all of your answers. And I really hope that this video has been helpful to you, anybody who is watching and considering coming to Laurier for the Human Rights and Human Diversity Program. So thank you again so much for your time today and hopefully we'll see you at Laurier soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.